With so much to do in Bremer Bay, it wouldn't be an auto-spec adventure without the faithful pie review. Are you slapping yourself or something like that in the shower? Yeah. 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 No? Yeah, I'm just going around creeping on everyone. <laughs> <laughs> out here. Which is outside the door. Yeah, were you nah, in the shower? He's oh, all... no, no. It would have been when I was um, shaving. Back. I was probably tapping the no. razor. Uh, Bremer Bay Roadhouse? Yeah, Bremer Bay Roadhouse. Cooked and cooked. Cooked and cooked. Homemade pies. Very good pies. They look very good, actually. Very good looking pies. Oh, integrity. Structural integrity. Structural integrity. And taste. All right, oh, I'm no. going to get into it. It looks amazing. No half numbers. It's not Mrs. Max. No, no half numbers, numbers, no full numbers. Decimal yeah, right, okay. I was no half numbers. <laughs> I thought it was no full One numbers. One bite, everyone knows the rules, though. <laughs> Structural integrity is not bad. Mm. El Presidente. Chunky bits of soap. Didn't stick to the aluminium. Big tick. Yeah. Am I allowed no bite? Mm -hmm. Question, do you reckon these ones are fresh or from yesterday? Well, there was certainly more there today, mm -hmm. so I would hazard a guess they're fresh. That's good. So I bought the only one with a potato top pie. Yes, you did. Yeah, you're making the shepherd's pie. It's not technically a potato top pie, but it is a shepherd's pie. So I feel a little like... Oh, shepherd's pie. Okay. You know what I mean? It's a shepherd's pie. As in, it's in the, it is, it, in the pie. Yeah, it does what it says on the can, but it just, <clears throat> it's not a pie. Is that, is that the difference between a shepherd's pie and a potato top? Is a shepherd's pie, it's under the crust? No, a shepherd's pie actually has like the shepherd's pie flavouring inside, whereas a potato top is just like a beef pie and a potato top on top. Oh, I, know. I don't know there's a difference, I'll be honest. No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Integrity. Integrity's not that bad. Mm. I've got a lot of moisture in it. Home homemade pie. Yeah, it's juicy, eh? Mm. But I'm not, like, I wouldn't say due to the juice, it's lacking, like, meat. Like, there's plenty of meat in it. Mm. Oh, yeah. Integrity out of 10 for this specific shepherd's pie. We're going to go 7.8. Jesus. Mm. Oh. I think a scale cigar starting right up there. What you no, no, no. Well, but, like, for that, like, if you put that in any other pie, it's falling apart. And you've right? just torn that in half and it's holding together. Yeah. Like, that's not bad. I was up high, I was 7.9 as well. Well, it's a square pie and it's holding itself together. Nice. Where you going? 8.2. 8.2. 8.2. Yep. Everyone's going to be driving to Bremer Bay soon for a pie. <laughs> no, it should. <laughs> they really should. <laughs> Saucy roll's good, not falling apart. It's not even flaking, which is nice. <laughs> is I'm it gonna... a fillet pastry? Yeah, yeah pie pastry. And it's not falling to pieces in the, in the, in the packet. I'm going to go 6.8 though for integrity. There's bigger fish out there. All right, flavour. I'm stoked with this. It's like, it, it's not just a beef, cheese and bacon, it's Italian beef, cheese and bacon. It's got a bit of spice, a bit of chilli to it. I like it. 8.8. 8. Oh, yeah. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting a potato topped pie. For a shepherd's pie, the integrity, so the flavour. So they've lied you off the rip and what no, you No, 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 I think, I think they've been more true to themselves <laughs> than what marketing would approve. <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. It's not for me. 6.4. I wish I had that though. Yeah. That looks elite. It is. <laughs> like last bites. I would be very happy. Meet in the middle. No. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta eat this. We're all mates around here. Yeah. I'm, I'm an 8.7 as well. It's good. It's a good pot. Flavor on this, I'm probably going to 7.2. There's a bit of moisture in there, but a bit dry, but there's, there's nothing really in there. Did you say a bit of moisture, but a bit dry? Yeah. It's like, they're like moisture by it, and the next one's dry. So I was like, oh, it was good, and then it just started getting progressively downhill. Right. I'm disappointed oh. it's over. We've got a big task ahead of us on our fourth day in Bremer Bay. We're going to scale Bluff Knoll, the highest peak in the Stirling Ranges. Big buffalo's a bit worried, a bit concerned. Oh, yeah. 
I'll be breathing in the big ones as well, I reckon. <laughs> yes, anyway. Uh, it should be good, I'm looking forward to it. Apparently it was snowing there last weekend. Yeah. Uh, Thursday, when we uh, started heading down, uh, I believe it was good. snowing. Yeah, right. So, I don't know and to be fair, that first night was very cold, so I would agree with that. For oh, sure. Yeah. Now we can see oh, it. Oh, now we can see it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's Bluff Knoll over there. I'll be honest, I'm looking forward to it, but I know I'm going to struggle. Like, I'm not going to have a good time, but... It's... What was that? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of bees. <laughs> that was a lot of bees. Not looking forward to it. I think I'm going to struggle going, getting up the hill, but I'm not shying away from it. It's going to be good for you, right? Like, it's got to be good for you. Yeah, we've traded in the work boots for sneakers. Yep. Got the sneakers on, we're ready to go. Oh, Mitchie up ahead. He was trying to avoid looking at it. Yeah. <laughs> so he, he didn't want to look at it while on the drive here. I asked him, I was like, what was he thinking every time he looks at it? He goes, oh, nah, not looking at it, nah. What did he say? The second the chafe sets in, he's stopping. Yeah, he's stopping, it. Uh, that's it. Yeah, nah. we'll pick him up on the way back down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, walking tomorrow, I think, will be a challenge, but that's okay. I re we'll try and be in the car all day tomorrow, I think. That's it. Be well, we might, might find some mud to splash in tomorrow. Yeah, just let's not get bogged. Stay in the car. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want to get bogged. <laughs> yeah, we've got a bottle of Nurofen, that'll get us through. <laughs> yeah. We've got to walk bluff. We're 20 minutes away from the start, running this lovely canola field farm. Field. Field. Yep. Uh, it's that mountain there. Knoll, I should say. It's that knoll. That it's knoll. Not, yeah, it's called a knoll, not a mountain. But. What about me? <laughs> oh, oh, keep that. 1,092 metres in elevation, 6.3 kilometre walk from the car park. Hour and a half, let's hope. <laughs> hour and there and back. Hour and a half for you. What about, what about the three blokes that are pushing over 100 kilos here? I'll go for an hour. <laughs> pushing? <laughs> pushing, yeah, over 100. Clearly over 100. Oh, I was playing it down. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, worst case, we just roll down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> Overs, unders on how sore? Quick, how quick you start to get sore. How many Ks in, do you reckon? How many minutes? Ks? How many, <laughs> how, many, <laughs> how many minutes? I'm talking until, hundreds of metres and I'm going to be blowing numbers. I'm like, woo -hoo. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling confident. <laughs> I reckon I'll walk more metres in the car park at work. Yeah, around yeah. laps. On that flat paved area. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right, okay. No worries. It's the flatness I'm not in worried nice, about. In nice work boots. Yeah. Yeah, Mitchy, what shoes are you walking in? My van. Yeah, the van's going to cop pounding on the yeah, No, that's not going to be fun. <laughs> Your big toe's not going to be uh, doing very well, I don't think. Oh, I'm pumped, man. Bluff Knoll is just a short drive away now. Now, we might be great with cars, but when it comes to hiking, we don't know the first thing about it. But, uh, <laughs> you know, how hard can it be? Class four. I would genuinely love to go. Class four knoll amount. Distance to summit, 3.1 k's. So it's 6.2 round trip. Oh. Do you feel oh. better? Piece of cake, oh, lads. Those, yeah. You've just halved our work. How That's good. Oh, you oh, did. 1, Allow three to four hours. 1,095 meters. Dude, 3.1 k's, lads. It's half the distance. Tell you. <laughs> 10 minute k's, we're up there. No. Should I walk, just walk off and tie myself and get up there compared to you lads? It, I think you'll get a lot of enjoyment watching us. <laughs> I'll race you both. Sure. My strategy, I've got, I've got runners on or, or sneakers. I've got thin socks. And I'm worried about the walk in general, but I'm worried about my tootsies, my feet. So I'm gonna go work socks and my normal socks. And hopefully we're gonna be okay. Now it might come as no surprise to you that we're a little underprepared here. Who would have thought that a mechanic, a marketer, an accountant, and a sales rep were not the ideal candidates for this sort of climb? The hike takes most people around three to four hours to complete. We have a feeling it's gonna take a hell of a lot longer for us. They said it was a 6.3 kilometer hike, but it's more like a staircase. Slow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, we need to pick it up. I'll tell you what, this downhill is pretty easy. <laughs> Why do you do all my 
Most hikers will bring water and protein bars, but not us. John and Richie were determined on taking a six pack of Western Draft all the way up to the top. <laughs> How young is too young for a hiker? <laughs> <laughs> Struggling? Walk in the park, mate. <laughs> Literally. Holy. I'm kind of sitting over camera in front of you. He's filming this beast. He's had a couple of emails. Rich, are you dead? What? Are you dead? Yeah. Yeah. Struggle. Connor? Huh? We're just going to get up to death. Oh, is that it? Yep. Oh. I thought it was higher. <laughs> It's this, the second half is less steep, right? The downhill part. This is actually, I severely overestimated my fitness. So did I, but I knew I wasn't going to struggle. I knew I was going to struggle. My back would have been excellent. He's very nice. Yeah, this is definitely going to take us longer than the estimate. Rather take our time than suffer a heart attack. Is it good or bad look for Western Draft that you're... Yeah. Back. Bluff no. That's what's up. That's my idea of a good timer. Yeah. Thankfully, we didn't have to make it all the way up to the very top to start enjoying the views. Western Australia looks so beautiful from up here. What a view. That is the car park. I think that is the top there. <laughs> is that it? Are we going to put a rock up there or what? Is that the top? The top's like... Oh, is this the turn? Have we hit the turnaround? Yeah, down there. That was a oh. back. Oh, okay. Now we're just walking back up the ridge to the top. It like gets the top and it flattens out. That is John and Richie. Finally, we can see our way to the top. We can safely say the hike was worth it. These views are simply breathtaking. Thumbs up. Oh. You didn't like that, did you? Oh. Okay, I'm good. We're just going to put you on packing them, on top of packing them again. Same people. Oh. Actually, just keep going and going. I was yeah. like, no, no, we'll bring, we will. And she's like, just keep going. Keep going. I was on the way to here, guys. Like, well, we made it to the top, mate. Yeah, well, that was um, that was a challenge. It was a challenge for us, pushing 40. <laughs> yeah. Pushing 40 and 100 kgs. <laughs> but we got there. Yep. That's uh, like when you come around the back and you think you're almost there and it's 600 meters and it goes flat for a bit and then up back up, up again. again. Yeah, that kills yeah. you. It's like, oh, reprieve and then, nah, nah, tough. I thought we were done. I thought that was the end, but uh, yeah. we made it to the end, so. K1 to K2, definitely the hardest K. You definitely, K1 right? to K2, yeah. K1 to K2, yeah. that middle K is, um, yeah, that was a killer. Uh, there was a few stops there, let me tell you, and uh, contemplating life and life choices. But I reckon we've made a good one today. Yeah, we did. We got there. Beer at the top. Yeah, I think we've earned it. Yeah, no, I see. Oh, oh, yeah, cheers. boy. Cheers, mate. Well deserved. Don't you lads forget those cans. Ooh, yeah, no, yeah, we'll bring no, them back. I don't with want to get yelled at again. No. no littering on the top, lads. Take no, your rubbish it. with you. Take your rubbish with you. Not hard. How good's the view? You know. Happy days. Can I just say, if we're going there, I'm going fishing because there is a, literally where yeah, that, 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 that <coughs> no, no, in the morning, that top corner. Oh, yeah. And with that, it's time to make our way back down. The auto spec team can consider this knoll conquered. Good. 
Auto Spec has officially conquered Bluff Knoll. Called a three and a half hour round trip with 30 minutes on top. Yep. And a, two beers worth. Two Let's put it that way. Two, two tins. Two tins. Two warm beers. Two tins of what? Western craft. <laughs> Nothing but the best. Have you sweated those beers off, you reckon? Oh, no, I wasn't sweating much on the way down. But on the way up, let me tell you, I am about five kilos lighter, for sure. Did take me a lot longer than yourself. One of the oldest people here, I was certainly struggling, that's for sure. Uh, what would you say? Perfect weather for it, too. No, so, good day. Not hot, not cold. Not hot, not cold. Uh, nice bit of breeze, uh, especially when um, you needed it the most, I suppose. So yeah. Considering what it snowed, what, four days ago, we said? Yeah. It actually was quite nice up there. Yeah, good time of, good time of day for us to go. Lunchtime, wasn't many people on the track, uh, and everybody was really encouraging too, weren't if, they? If you were here peak summer, I would highly recommend come in the morning or late Arvo. Yeah. Definitely not a midday jobby like we just did. No, nah, no, nah, you'd be, yeah, red for sure. Oh yeah, no, it was very scenic for yeah. sure. Yes, man. Uh, hey, mate. Do you have maybe a sip of water? Yeah, you? sure. No worries. Go for it. Thanks, uh, on the other side. On the other side, there's a tap and a there's switch. There's a tap and a switch. Go for it. Okay, thanks a lot. Uh, all good. For sure. And then what? 17 bucks to get into the National Park? Yeah, National Park entry. 17 dollars. 30 bucks for five days. Yeah. Nice. Any park entry? Yep. Yep. No, good stuff. No, looking forward to it. Where are we off to now? Uh, Going to head straight to Cozy Corner. Yep. Probably like an hour and a half drive, give or take. Yep. Get, get in there. It's a free camp, I believe. I think I, so, yep. I'm not too sure if there's a like a pay now box sort of thing. Or no, like, I think because we've got the Parks um, Pass. National Park Pass where I think we're all good. So go. smart option. It's the boy math, isn't it? Get the uh, five day pass, then you're all sweet. So no dramas. Easy. All right, let's kick it to Cozy Corner before it gets too dark. There's yeah, nothing better than seeing Bluff Knoll standing proud in all its sunlit glory, stretching out into the vast West Australian sky, then Indulging in the perfectly golden, crispity crunch of the Colonel's 11 secret herbs and spices, lovingly fried to perfection. Mm-mm.